I don't think that there is this Islamist leftist alliance. I think there is a Muslim leftist. Like there are Muslims who are who ally themselves with the left, American Muslims, and many of them became leftists themselves. Um, and we see, and it was a pretty impressive sea change in political opinion amongst American Muslims. I mean, in 2000, I think the majority of American Muslims were leaning, voted for Bush. And then all of a sudden you had this kind of huge shift post 9-11. But I think there's obvious reasons why that happened. I do think initially that was a strategic move um, by many Muslims. I mean, they just perceived the, the Republican Party as being too Islamophobic. Well, there I, I use that term, but uh, yeah, anti-Muslim in there, you know, in some of, the, you know, there's a war in Afghanistan, war in Iraq, Gitmo, Abu Ghraib, the enemy combat combatant designation, waterboarding, harassment at borders and travel, um, all of these kind of things. And then we had like the right wing um, cable news and radio news. Like I, I remember being a young man in that time and I, I distinctly got the impression, you know, post 9-11 that I am not truly an American, even though I was born and raised in America. And that creates some difficulty for you because you you grew up and you were raised in a certain country. And um, and that definitely made me shift rightward in my thinking. In my 20s, I would say I was quite a fundamentalist in my practice. Um, and and I, I, I blame right wing. I, I blame uh, Bill O'Reilly for that. I watch too much of him. But uh, uh, the point is, that is what caused the shift. And I think initially it might have been strategic, but you can only have cognitive dissonance going on for so long. And so what eventually happens is that I don't know if you've read Jonathan Haidt's book on um, what's it called? The, the Moral Mind. It talks about how people change their viewpoints. And it's actually not by argumentation often. It's usually by just getting to know someone. That's why I think we should do a lot more of this. And perhaps we should actually, you know, get together sometime outside of uh, you know a podcast. But um, but that's really what changes people's viewpoints. And I think that, that that's what happened. Um, and so and then also the younger generation of Muslims they're not going to live with that cognitive dissonance. They're going to resolve that cognitive dissonance. And the way they do that is by changing their religious viewpoints to align uh, more, to make them more in line with the political parties that they're supporting. And so I do think that Muslims shifted even religiously in my lifetime, a huge shift. And so, yes, the LGBTQ issue was like the difficult, I mean, if you want to ask what's the most difficult thing when it comes to religious views, um, that conflict with kind of Western values, I would definitely say the LGBTQ issue is is the toughest case. But even if you look at that issue, American Muslims, uh, you know, according to a, a poll a few years ago, um, a majority of American Muslims support gay marriage now. And that shows the radical shift. And if they can shift on that issue, they can shift on any number of issues. Now, I do think that uh, even though that shift happened, now there's a little bit of buyer, buyer's remorse going on. And I think that's what you're asking about it. I think that's because there's a feeling that, so the kind of the logic that was initially used to justify a Muslim, uh, you know, a practicing, believing Muslim to say, okay, I'm okay with gay marriage was, okay, I can think of it as something that I wouldn't do for me or my family, like in a personal religious life. I, I think it's a sin, but I don't think it should be a crime. Just like alcohol is, I don't drink alcohol, but I don't think that it should, it should be against the law necessarily. Um, so I think that's kind of the logic that was used. And and then, of course, there were other Muslims who even went even further, because like I said, the cognitive dissonance can only last for so long. But but I think recently what's happened is that on the left, there are some people who have kind of a zero tolerance policy of when it comes to these ideas, and they just keep pushing one thing after the other. That's how it's felt. And so it's like, no matter what we do, it's, we're not going to be accepted unless... And so, and I think the real issue was the transgender issue, and it wasn't even the transgender issue, but really the thing about the schools and like what what they're teaching our our kids. And I think that's one of the issues that really caused this kind of buyer's remorse among some Muslims who are now shifting in the other direction.